the patriarchs of the Old Testament, those men especially in the book of Genesis that help to point us to Jesus. They serve as a type, as an arrow, as a sign that points us forward to who Jesus is, who he is going to be, and how he is going to save you. So far, we've take, uh, taken a look at Abraham and also back at Noah and at Adam, men who are talked about and, and discussed in multiple chapters of the book of Genesis. But it's not just these great and huge patriarchs that are recorded chapter after chapter, chapter in the book of Genesis that help to point us to Jesus. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a, a lesser known, a, a, a not, not quite so notable character named Melchizedek. You can find him in Genesis chapter 14 in just a few verses, but he does come up again in the book of Hebrews as one of those men who help to point us to Christ. The name Melchizedek literally means king of righteousness. When translated from the Hebrew into English, we see that he is the king of righteousness, but he's also the king of Salem, or perhaps a, a Hebrew word that you may have already heard of, shalom, peace. Melchizedek is the king of righteousness and also a king of peace. And he comes to Abraham in, in Genesis chapter 14, and he is also described as the priest of God Most High. He accepts a tithe from Abraham, that portion that would be due to priests. So he serves as a priest for Abraham, and he feeds Abraham a feast of bread and wine. But he's not done yet. He speaks God's word over him. He speaks a blessing, a good word over Abraham, like a prophet who speaks God's word to the people. So Melchizedek serves as a prophet, a priest, and a king, just as Christ does. Christ is the prophet, the word of God incarnate in the flesh, who speaks and proclaims the gospel of good news to the poor. He is a priest, the one who offers the sacrifice, and also the sacrifice himself, who then takes that sacrifice and feeds it to his people, to us, to you, in bread and wine, as a king. Our king of righteousness, our king of peace, who lives and reigns to all of eternity for you as your Savior. 